Good day. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, the 7th of October. You're welcome as we gather in this time of prayer, a time to be with our Blessed Mother. And our Blessed Mother leads us to Jesus, our Son and our Brother. And we are privileged to come with Mary to Jesus. We ask Mary to pray for us now, as we do in the Hail Mary, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary constantly looks after us and looks out for us. So today is a beautiful time, a beautiful feast, a time when we uh, celebrate Our Lady of the Rosary. And this feast of her of the Holy Rosary, it was instituted by Pope Pius V to celebrate the anniversary of the defeat of the Turkish fleet at Battle of the Battle of Lepanto on the first Sunday in October fifteen seventy one which ended the threat of Muslim domination of the Mediterranean and was ascribed in part to the prayers and processions of Rosary Confraternity in Rome. Later, the feast was moved to the fixed date of the 7th of October, which we are celebrating this day. So we come in prayer, we come reflecting on the merits of praying the rosary. And there are wonderful merits in it. To those who are unfamiliar with Catholic rosary, it is an instrument of prayer, an instrument of meditation. Its real purpose is to allow a person to meditate on the mysteries of Christ's life and also on our Blessed Mother and her part too in the salvation of us all. And some people use the rosary to center their minds and to bring themselves and their problems closer to God and they ask our Blessed Mother to help them. A rosary consists of four mysteries. They are the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, the glorious mysteries, and the luminous mysteries, which were added in recent times by Pope St. John Paul II. And these four mysteries of the rosary are broken up into five decades representing an event in the life of Jesus or of his mother like the assumption of Mary into heaven and the coronation of Our Lady's Queen of Heaven and Earth. The last two decades of the glorious mysteries of the rosary Again in the joyful, where the angel Gabriel comes to Mary, the first mystery of the rosary. Again, the center is not so much on Mary, while it is her yes to God's will, but it's focused on God and on Jesus. And the joyful mysteries are prayed on Mondays and Saturdays. The sorrowful mysteries are prayed on Tuesdays and Fridays and the glorious mysteries are prayed on Wednesdays and Sundays. And the luminous mysteries, the mysteries of light, are prayed on Thursdays. So for a few moments now, let us pause in prayer and let us ask the Lord to be with us. To bless us with a mother's love and a mother's protection.
With great confidence in God's love for us, Mary was confident in God's care for her and God's love for her. And we pray the prayer that her son taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, pray for us. Mary, intercede for us. Bless our families. Bless those who are in need. Bless those who are suffering. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and that the hour of our death. Amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray your blessing upon us, and upon those we love as we praise you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.